guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a prom makeup tutorial. I'm really sorry if I missed anyone's prom. I tried my very best to get this up at a time that I knew most of my people were looking for prom stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the look that I came up with. Um, I really just did the look that I get a lot of questions about whenever I do someone's makeup for prom or any event. They always say that they want something bronzy and natural looking, but it it's just a little bit sexy and a little bit smoky and it just has a little bit of glitter in there and you have everything good in here. You're natural, you're beat, you're full coverage, but you still look like yourself. So yeah, I really liked how this look turned out. I think it looked um, pretty. I pulled my hair back. I mean, it looks horrible, but I pulled it back so you guys can kind of get it like in a sense if you're doing like an updo with it or something. I don't know what you guys are doing with your hair. Um, I do want to see your dresses and your hair and your makeup on the day of prom, so when it is your prom, please tweet me your pictures, tag me in your Instagram photos, like whatever. I seriously want to see all your prom looks. Um, I loved getting ready for prom. It was definitely the best part of prom, so I'm a little sad that I'm not getting ready for prom this year because I graduated high school, so I'm not going to prom. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload all the time, so you guys definitely don't want to miss out on an upload. But this is a long video, so if you guys are getting ready for prom with me, that's great. It's long enough, you guys can do your makeup pretty much like real time with mine. Um, but if you're just watching, getting ideas for prom, grab a snack, um, text some friends during it, it's pretty long. So get comfy, grab a seat, and let's get started. First thing that is so important to remember the night before prom is to exfoliate your skin, and then in the morning do like a simple cleanse and a moisturizer. I'm gonna go in with a moisturizer. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Um, I use this all the time on my channel, so if you're new, welcome. I use that all the time, it's like my holy grail. And if you guys are here all the time, you already know that. And I apply this all throughout my skin. And this really just leaves a dew on your skin. It makes you super glowy. Um, it's not like a oily looking glowy. It just feels so nice. Like all my friends that have this are obsessed with it. It's like literally it's everyone's holy grail product. So it just leaves you with a little dew on your skin. Now I definitely recommend to prime your skin. So the primer today that I'm going to use is the Smashbox photo finish primer water. I'm using this because it's super hydrating on my skin and it also is going to leave it with like a dewy texture. Now on to a foundation. I recommend using two tones of foundation on the day of prom and I'm going to show you why in just a second. The foundation today that I'm using is a Graftobian palette of a bunch of different foundation shades. With whatever your favorite foundation is, get one shade that matches you and one shade that's two shades lighter. So for me, I'm going to take this on a um, foundation rush. This is by BH Cosmetics, no Coastal Sense. And I'm just going to pick a color that I think would match my neck. Alright, so that seems to match my neck. See how it just sort of blended in? So I'm just going to grab one shade lighter than that. I'm going to put this in the center of my face. And then I'm going to go in with the darker shade and put this on the perimeter of my face. And this, it's not cream contouring or anything. It's going to give your face, it's going to look more dimensional. It's not going to look like a sheet a foundation is on. So this is just a really good trick um, to do if you want to look natural and like you have, you know, features and dimensional. Um, but it's not cream contouring, so it's not intense, it's not tricky to do. You're just putting your darker foundation on the perimeters and your lighter foundation in the center. Then once that is on there, take your beauty blender or if you're using like a stippling brush, whatever brush you're using, I prefer a beauty blender. It's going to tap this in. Less is more, so that's why we're using full coverage products and only a little bit of it because we're going to get that full coverage look with only using a few products. Well, not a few, we're going to be using a lot, but you're not going to feel like you have pounds and pounds of makeup on. Okay, for concealer, I definitely recommend keeping your beauty blender out for the concealer. Um, and then I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. I really like this because it doesn't give me flashback and the coverage is super full coverage, but it's very lightweight. So you're going to take the wand out, you're going to put it on the back of your hand like that. And that's all the concealer that you're going to use for your whole face. Just one swipe because this is a really full coverage concealer. You really don't need a lot. Take your beauty blender 
and dip it in and kind of pat it around on your hand. Take whatever is left on the beauty blender and just stipple that right underneath your eye. Now you can see that there still is a lot of product, so go ahead, disperse it between the two. You really don't want it to be cakey under your eyes or during prom because it's, just, it's gonna show up in pictures. And a lot of times pictures are outside and natural lighting is really nice, but it's also not very forgiving. So if you're too cakey or anything, you are going to see it. Uh, and that happened to me on my last prom. I'll link my prom video down below of like where I was getting ready and stuff. And I just put on way too much concealer and I just got so cakey. And I felt like all night I was just staring at my cake face. Blotting paper really, really helps. Even though it's supposed to be for oils and stuff, you can use it to take cake away. So if you do get too cakey, finish your makeup. Don't take it off. Finish it out. Um, and then once you're done, take some blotting papers and blot where you think you're cakey and it's gonna take off any excess makeup. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit more and dab it down the center of my nose and up here on my forehead. Make sure that your beauty blender is also damp. If you do this with a dry beauty blender, it's not gonna give you the same results. Powder, I'm gonna link this down below because I really think everyone should use this powder on the day of prom. Flashback is the number one thing that ruins makeup, ruins pictures, and it just, oh, it's horrible. I really, really, really think everyone should get this powder. It's like $12 on beautylish.com. It's really great. I'll have it linked down below. But this is the RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm going to do a light bake with this. I have an entire video all about baking. I'll leave that down below. So I'm taking a little bit in the cap. The less you pour in the cap, the less you'll put on your face. And trust me, ladies, less is more on the day of prom. And then my beauty blender is still damp. I'm going to dip it in the cap where I put the powder. Um, about that much and then I go like this in the air to make sure that I don't have too much I go right underneath the eyes and I just bounce it back and forth To set it and then once it's set on there I pretty much just put it wherever I put my concealer my eyelids always like to crease So I set those with the bake as well I always like to set my smile lines because I always get creasing on my smile lines. If your entire face is oily, you can bake your whole face. My face isn't really oily. I just bake to prevent creasing. Now that you have the bake on, we're gonna go back in and set the rest of the face, like more of the perimeter. So I like to take a full coverage foundation powder. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder, and this one is also a little bit of a darker shade. Um, this is in the shade 155. So first thing, always gonna do, take a powder brush. This is the Real Techniques powder brush. Put it on your neck. You want to set your neck, your chest, everything, shoulders. You really wanna get everything one color. I'm gonna dip into the powder. I literally like wave it in the air to get any excess off. And then I'm just gonna lightly go around the perimeter of my face. I'm not dipping in a lot. I'm not caking powder on. I'm setting it, but I'm also giving it a little bit of coverage. And I like to do this before I go back in and wipe off my bake because this can wipe off my bake in areas that I need it to be wiped off, like my chin and around my smile lines. Okay, so once that is all set, I'm gonna go in with a Sigma F35 tapered highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna go, my bigger, bigger thing. I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyes and all away. Because if you keep any powder on your face, that is where flashback comes from. But if you wipe it all away, this powder will not play you in pictures. You will not have flashback. You will look flawless. There's your base. I know it took a while, but this is like such a key component of your makeup look that you really need it to be as perfectly flawless as you can get it. I've done prom makeup for a long time now. Um, I've been doing it for like four years. So pretty much every girl that comes in, unless they have like a picture they're showing me, they always say that they want it to be like glowy, bronzy, natural, not too smoky, but a little something something. I get it from everyone and every, I do this look pretty much for everyone and they always love it. So yes, I've done this look before, but I'm bumping it up a little bit, adding some steps in to make it look a little bit more glam for prom. But it's wearable, it's natural, it's pretty, it's not too much. First thing, Hoola bronzer. We're gonna go with this later for our face, but you can also use it on your eye. I'm using a MAC 224. This is a fluffy blending brush. And you're just gonna throw this right here in the crease of your eye. I like putting it in with windshield wiper motions and a little bit of circular motions. This doesn't have to be neat, just get it in 
your eye. It's also very important that you do this eye makeup look after you have set your face because I'm going to go in with the glitter. So if we were to use um, glitter with concealer or foundation not set, it would stick onto your skin. So you need to make sure that you are nice and set before. I'm also going to take this on the 224 and run this along my lower lash line. I really like a good smoky lower lash line. I know some people don't like makeup on their bottom, and that's totally fine. You definitely don't have to put it on the bottom. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush like this. This one is by Tarte. It's also dirty. Uh, don't mind that. I'm pretty gross. Um, this is the shade Woodwinked by MAC. This palette I made by myself. I always get questions. I just um, collectively over the years just had shadows inserted into it. But this is Woodwinked by MAC, which is a gold shadow. With this shade, I'm going to start off by putting it on my lid. So it goes on the lid. And then I'm not going to stop it from going up into the crease. I'm kind of going to put it right over top of that hula shade that we put down first. And once you put it over top of like a um, darker bronzy shade, it kind of turns into like this deep orangey bronze shade. Like it transforms itself. So it's a really beautiful color. And then this brush is dual sided. So I'm just going to take this smudger brush. You can use the same side of it if you want. And then I was taking that same shade Woodwinks again and putting it over top of Hoola on the lower lash line. And then with your 224, I'm just going to go back in and blend out that crease shade to make it not so stark and just blend nicely together. And then I'm also going to throw it on the lower lash line to blend Woodwinked into Hula. So the glitter today that I'm using is my favorite glitter ever. This is the Too Faced Glitter in the shade Nude Beam. What I like to do to keep it not to keep it nice and light and not like cakey or anything. I take the primer water that we use and then I just spray my finger with it and I always apply it with my finger. So I'm just spraying a little bit on my ring finger. I dip into the glitter itself. Then I dip into the lid to kind of even it out. I shake my hand out and then I just go right over top of my lid and kind of place it down onto my lid. Then when it's on there, Go back in with the MAC 224, blend it out. So it just adds a little bit of shimmer. It's nothing crazy, it's just super pretty. Then you take your highlighter brush that you used, and this is why you wanna set, because then all the glitter that falls down, you can just brush right away. All right, let's finish off highlighting the eyes. I'm gonna go in with Nylon. It's also by MAC. It's a yellow toned. It's this one right here. You just wanna go from the highest point of your arch to the tail of your brow. See that? Right here. I'm gonna take that same shade and just put it right here on the inner corner to highlight and open up the eye. All right, let's move on to eyeliner. Um, I always like to put a little bit of eyeliner in my waterline. So this is the M Cosmetics waterline. Upper lash line eyeliner is totally your call. My junior year, I didn't wear any eyeliner on the top just because whenever I'm outside taking pictures, my eyes always tend to water. So if I were to put like an eyeliner down, my eyeliner would come off. So if you want to skip eyeliner, skip it. It would look beautiful without eyeliner, um, but I'm going to put it on for those ladies that do want eyeliner. So this is the NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner in the shade Black. And the mascara today that I'm using is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. All right, I'm gonna go with lashes. My favorite lashes ever that I always trust are the Ardell Wispies. Um, these are the Glamour style. These are used, so they're not new. Um, last year for prom, I used the House of Lashes Tempstress Wispies. Eyes are done. Lashes just completely add like the final touches. I always use a dark lash glue. If you guys use clear lash glue, make sure that you go back in with your liquid liner or whatever liner you use on the top 
and go over your lash band and make it dark. This is Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Just pull this back out. I'm using a MAC 135, I think it is. This is my favorite bronzer brush ever. I use it every single day. And I'm going to put this on my cheeks. I think contour is like out. I don't know about you guys if anyone still likes it, but to me, it's just so out. So I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks. Then I'm gonna put it up here on my temples because this is where the sun naturally hits you. Up on the temples. I'm putting it on the jawline to blend my foundation into my neck. I'm also throwing it on my neck a little bit. So this is the MAC Fix Plus. Spray your face with this. You could totally use, oh my God, I'm stuck. You could use um, your priming water if you wanted, but I just prefer Fix Plus. And then as your Fix Plus is drying, this is like a finishing spray. It's gonna keep you dewy. If you are at all cakey or powdery, that is going to take it away. As this is drying, I'm gonna go in with the highlighter right before it's like a perfect dry down consistency is when I'm going to go in with it. So this is a MAC, sorry, this is a Anastasia A23 highlighting brush and this is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This is so pretty in pictures, you guys. It's seriously the best. So I get this all in my brush and I find that the best way to apply this highlighter is to pat it on. So right when that finishing spray is about to set down, kind of just pat it on in little pats and build it up. You can kind of, you know, you can go back and forth with it if you want to, but just little pats make this highlight work the best in my opinion. And you can see that it builds up and you really just want to put this just on your cheekbones. You can do your highlight however you want, but I know that the trend right now is to be like super blinding with your highlight and everything, but I just think having a nice natural glow it's always going to be prettiest. It's going to be timeless. It's just a nice little touch. I always like to put it right here above my upper lip. So I'm going to do like a peach blush with a peach lip. It just looks pretty in my opinion. So this is the MAC blush in Super Continental. You can use peaches by MAC and place it on and then sweep it back. I'm not sweeping it back in a straight line because then it's just going to hit my ear. I'm sweeping it up like how I have my contour going, my contour, my bronzer going up and my highlight. They're all going up. All right, so for lips, I'm gonna use Subculture by MAC. I don't like liquid lipsticks. I think that they just make my lips look super crusty. So I like to do a lip liner and a gloss, but if you wanna do a liquid lip, you can so go for it. They're definitely gonna last the longest. And then fill in your lips with the lip liner. You can use any lip gloss that you want. I always, I'm like a nude junkie when it comes to lip glosses, so I always like lip glosses. This is Peach Petal by Revlon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below. I have two other prom videos up on my channel. This is my prom video from senior year. If you guys wanna see my junior prom video, that is right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.